What's going on guys? My name is Triforce Addiction. Welcome back to another COD Mobile video. So today I want to discuss the Q&A that they had within COD, the COD Mobile channel. Uh, this was something that was kind of happening unexpectedly. It was something I wasn't really keeping up with. But apparently a lot of, uh, I guess, important YouTubers such as Bobby Plays as well as Hawk Ness were streaming in the COD Mobile channel. And I guess they're doing this little event where people could actually ask questions for the developers and of course the developers themselves would actually be able to answer the question. I think this type of event was actually brought up a few weeks ago, but it was something that I didn't really take too seriously, or I thought this was gonna be some sort of Reddit event. I, I didn't think it was gonna be something that would happen on YouTube. But of course it did happen. And you know, there are some important questions that were asked and were answered. Uh, but for the most part, I do have to say that the whole event was kind of like a letdown because for the most part, most of the questions that were being answered was stuff that we already know. You know, stuff like game balancing and and just all that stuff. There were also other questions pertaining to Battle Royale as well as how, I guess, they develop their characters. I think the biggest highlight, though, for the Q&A was about zombies. So they mentioned something about bringing back the original zombies to the game. But, of course, they said that they were still working on it. So we can't really expect it to come out right away, even for Season 5 or Season 6. So maybe around Season 7 or around Season 9, maybe they'll implement it into the game. But as of right now, I don't see that happening right away. And keep in mind, Undead Siege is still... Uh, able to be played right now. So once season five starts, or I guess once the update comes out, that's when Undead Siege is pretty much gone. But other than that, it was kind of disappointing because like I said, they answered questions to stuff that like I'm pretty sure we already know at this point. Anyone that's kept up with this game, even if it's a little bit, should already know what's going on. And the reason why this kind of bothers me is because these questions could have there could have been more important questions that could have been asked. Like instead of, you know, oh, what's your process of making these skins or how are you balancing these weapons out or, you know, stuff like that. I mean, it, it's shit that we did not even need to have an answer to. Like, you know, there, there could have been more important questions such as, will there ever be a prestige mode? Will there ever be a new uh, camouflage that, you know, that isn't part of some stupid challenge or something like that? but they, no one ever asked it or they just chose the most basic of questions. More questions could be such as, uh, will Ether Crystal or Red Sprite ever be able to be put on blueprints? You know, we could have had a direct answer for that or we could have had a question such as, will Warzone Mobile have a connection with COD Mobile? Will you be able to take your skins over to that game or something like that? It, it would have been, like, you know, stuff like that should have been part of the of that event. There was no reason to have questions such as, you know, basic balancing and stuff like that shit that we already have knowledge of. We could have asked more questions of, you know, signature attachments or if there is going to be any new perks that may come by in the future. You know, stuff like that would have been amazing. But I mean, I don't know why they picked the, the dumbest of questions. And I know that sounds kind of harsh to say because I'm sure the people that did ask those questions were just genuinely asking but still i mean you know this those are questions that could have been asked during like some sort of reddit blog post you know it, it didn't have to be done here where you know a q a was actually live this time around i think they gave us like some sort of website to go to where we could ask those questions and they would choose and i'm sure there were a lot of creative questions like you know prestige mode i'm sure like a lot of people have been wondering because there was a concept like way back when where they were, you know, actually considering putting a prestige mode in this game. And, you know, the topic never really came up again, but it's interesting to see where it would have been interesting to see where they were at when like with that particular thing. And I could kind of tell like, you know, seeing like the results from like Twitter, like, you know, because in Twitter, they usually, you know, highlight what was important about certain events. Right. And there's like a blog post where they answered a pretty good question. They'll post someone will post it on Twitter and you'll find out that way. But the thing is that on Twitter, the only piece of information that was you know even remotely valuable was just the question of zombies, because some guy asked about adding Takio's voice into the game. And apparently, I forgot I forgot that the voice actor had some medical issues where he couldn't really voice act anymore. Or I guess he retired or something like that. So, I mean, it was a legitimate question. And they did say that they were considering adding zombies into the game. So that was really the only good piece of information that we got from that Q&A. 
Like, I don't know if you guys remember, but if you ever see Family Guy, like one of the earlier episodes, they go to Comic-Con and Stewie was trying to like ask all these questions uh, for the Star Trek cast. Like, you know, stuff that actually had to pertain about the show and all the other fans were just asking him questions of like, you know, household work, you know, just stuff that had nothing to do with the show. That's literally how this Q&A went. What I'm simply trying to say is that if those questions I highlighted earlier, you know, the ones that could have been on that q and if, if those things were asked, we would have had a lot more information about this game's development, you know, but we we just didn't. I mean, this this event had so much potential, but it was just wasted asking these stupid ass questions. And like I said, I understand it's kind of harsh to say, but I mean, I'm not wrong here, am I? But yeah, that's my whole take on this thing. I mean, I don't know why they bothered to have an event like this if they were just going to answer questions that we already knew about. And like I said, I, like I thought it was going to last a little bit longer, but it just started with Hawk, Hawk's Nest like playing like a few games and then this Q&A started and like it like was over within like a few like a few minutes. I thought it was something that was, was going to last like the whole fucking stream, but no. It, 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 like I said, it was a waste of time. But anyways, I hope you guys somehow enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later. And don't worry, I'll be uploading a little bit more since, goddamn, been busy this whole fucking week. But yeah, anyways, laters.